The Kilimanjaro Venture climbs Kili in about eight days. I had a fair bit of anxiousness going into the venture about whether I could really climb this 19,000 foot mountain because it doesn't look like anyone could walk up that hill. Uh, it's not as technical of a climb, but it's sort of a more longer, slower, steady burn, more like a marathon as compared to a sprint. You're carrying everything you'll need in a pack on your back. All of the cold weather gear and trekking poles and hiking boots and anything you could possibly need to survive on your own for eight days. At the end of each day, you sit down as a group and discuss what the, the leaders of that day did and what they did well, what they can improve upon and, and what the leaders of the next day are thinking about. And so what we do on that venture then is look at our behaviors as data. And we take that data and explore what it means about our leadership strengths and how we need to develop. It was both an internal challenge and a physical challenge. For me, it was the first time I'd ever been above the cloud line and not in an airplane. To unzip your tent in the morning and feel like you almost were standing on the beach. But it wasn't water that you were looking out at, it was clouds. I'll probably never have this perspective again.